Hello and welcome to the presentation of the E-Fuel Gauge or the Electric Fuel Gauge. This uh, small module is placed in the uh, power circuit of your electric aircraft or uh, what you have. In this video I will cover how to s set up the slot for telemetry and uh, how, to, how to solder the module correctly. And I will cover a demonstration of, of the E-Fuel Gauge and uh, finally I will uh, show how to do firmware upgrade if any new features are implemented. Setting up the e-fuel gauge is done by entering the configuration mode which is done by holding down this button while powering on the fuel gauge. Now the LED will indicate that the module is in configuration mode and blink with the uh, amount of blinks according to the actual slot configured at the moment. <clears throat> so this module is configured for slot 1. If I push the button once, I will enter the mode for setting up the new slot number. And for for my application, I will, I'll use 3. So the first push is still 1, and then 2, 3. We should see three blinks on the LED and if we are satisfied with the configuration hold down the configuration button for two seconds and it will show a confirmation blink and the module is now in running mode and uh, up blinking on slot 3. Regarding soldering it's extremely important to have a good contact at the pins of the current sensor so the, the, the big square here indicates the input flow of the current and uh, the soldering should contact very nicely the pin all the way up here for, for both input and output and if, if you're using a, a very low AVT wire you might consider also soldering part of the wire on the back side here especially if you're using more than 100 amps when soldering uh, you should consider heat and only solder one side at the time and allow the device to cool down now since the device doesn't support the serial protocol for configuring slot on your transmitter you, you have to do it manually on the setup of the transmitter, which is actually pretty easy. So you go into the sensor menu of your transmitter and select the slot that is available for telemetry of your fuel gauge. And you configure a the new uh, current sensor 1678. And you will, on your telemetry screen, you will see current voltage and capacity which will be uplinked on the telemetry device. So having covered the introduction and the functionality of the e-fuel gauge, now it's time for a demonstration. So we're now in my workshop and I'll show you the installation of uh, the e-fuel gauge in a F27Q striker. So I'm sorry about the mess, but here you'll see how the installation is made. The e-fuel gauge is soldered onto the positive uh, wire from the battery. It fits nicely inside the fuselage. And uh, <coughs> I have already set up a sensor on the Futaba transmitter. At the moment the fuel gauge is not set up for slot 3 so I will change that after I power up the fuel gauge in one moment now as I explained before if I push the setup button while powering on the system the fuel gauge will enter setup mode and right now it is in slot 1 and I need it to be on slot 3 so I will push 1, 2, 3 times and it should show me 3 blinks one, two, three. Hold the button to confirm. 
you see the confirm blinking and now it is ready for up blinking if we go to the transmitter we will see that uh, we now have current voltage and capacity though at the moment voltage is not implemented so it will show zero now if I start up the engine we can see you can see the current in this part of the screen the capacity used over here and if I turn it on again you'll see the milliamp counting over here so now I've set the alarm for 30 milliamps and as you can hear it is sounding so I'm, I don't know why Futaba didn't implement a turn off of this sound so I have made an option for using a digital switch on the transmitter like this to temporarily turn down the capacity used to zero. This way the alarm turns on and off. Now I'll show you what it looks like on the display. So this is the actual used capacity. Now that I know I've exceeded the limit, I, I want to turn off the sound. So I push this button and the capacity will show zero. The the fuel gauge is still operating, so when I want to see the actual capacity, I switch the switch back and I see the actual capacity. And the sound starts and stops like that. So we have stepped back into my office to show you how to do the firmware upgrade of the e-fuel gauge. Using a fairly standard USB to UR adapter like this, and connect it to the test points here on the fuel gauge we are able to activate the bootloader and uh, update the firmware within the e-fuel gauge using any system to do the update we'll be using the AN1310 from Microchip which is a free tool for doing firmware upgrade on Microchip uh, products. The settings is uh, is not important regarding build rate because it is auto boarding and uh, configuration bits and e square prompt should be cleared only uploading new flash memory. I'll show you details of the, the connection between the UART adapter and the, the fuel gauge here and to enter boot mode we first have to press this button and it says break asserted so if we now turn on the power to the e fuel gauge without pushing the configuration button it should enter boot mode which is shown by a solid red light on the LED After entering boot mode and the LED is steady red, we push the stop button here and it should down here it says, should say bootloader firmware and the chip type of the e fuel gauge. Go to the file menu, open, select the latest version of the fuel gauge and push this red download button and we will erase the existing firmware and download the new firmware. When this is done it will say verification OK and you're ready to use the new firmware of the fuel gauge. So light completed. To make sure you can verify again say verify success. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the e-fuel gauge.